Okay, here's a crazy idea. What if baldness isn't just about DHT, but also about a tiny protein that literally whispers to your hair, wake up. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, meet SCUBE3, the new kid on the block in hair research. And yes, it might be the future of hair regrowth. Hi, I am Dr. Eric Ko, a hair transplant surgeon in Korea. Most people know the basics. DHT, the hair loss hormone, shrinks follicles. Minoxidil and finasteride help slow it down. End of story, right? But, and here's the twist. Your hair follicle isn't just a passive victim of hormones. It's a little community, stem cells, support cells, dermal papilla cells, all talking to each other. And recently, Scientists discovered one of the messages in that conversation. It's called SCUBE3. SCUBE3 is a protein. Imagine it as a text message sent from the dermal papilla, the control tower of your follicle, to the hair making cells. It basically says, time to grow people, let's go. Here's the cool part. In healthy hair, SCUBE3 levels rise during the growth phase but drop when the follicle goes to sleep. Therefore, it looks like SCUBE3 is one of the on switches for hair growth. Now, what happens if you take SCUBE3 and just inject it into mouse skin? Well, the mice grew new hair. Not bad, right? And here's where it gets more interesting. Older mice, who usually don't sprout new fur easily, also responded. It's like giving their follicles a shot of espresso. But before you run to order SCUBE3 on Amazon, hold your horses. This is still lab science, not a ready-made treatment. Okay, but mice are not humans. What about us? Researchers grafted actual human scalp follicles onto mice. Yeah, that's a real thing. Then they tried SCUBE3 again, and yes, those human hairs perked up and started entering the growth phase faster. So, therefore, STUBE3 isn't just a mouse story. It seems our follicles listen to it too. Let me simplify the geeky part. SCUBE3 talks to the follicle through a pathway called TGF beta. Think of it like a messenger app. SCUBE3 is the message. TGF beta is the app that delivers it. If you block the app, the message never arrives and hair doesn't grow. And here's a fun fact, SCUBE3 has two sides. When it's stuck on the cell membrane, it helps with other signals like BMP and FGF, which has nothing to do with hair growth. But when SCUBE3 is released, it triggers TGF beta and shouts grow. Like Clark Kent vs Superman, same person, different outfit. Let's zoom out. Why do we care? Because this shows a whole new way of thinking about hair loss. We've been obsessed with blocking DHT or forcing blood flow with minoxidil. And this is key. What if we could also send the follicle a fresh growth signal like SCUBE3 to reactivate it? Plus, even though this is still hypothetical, we can also use SCUBE3 for hair transplant surgery for better graft survival rate. Picture this. After a hair transplant, we don't just hope the grafts grow. We give them SCUBE3 microinjections, plus some red light therapy to boost mitochondrial energy, and maybe an antioxidant cream to balance stress. That's like giving your new hair a pep talk, an energy drink, and a personal trainer, all at once. Right now, SCUBE3 is still in the research zone. No creams, no injections at your local pharmacy but it's a glimpse into where hair science is going. Not just blocking bad stuff, but actively turning follicles back on. I'm Dr. Eric Ko. Thank you for geeking out with me. Subscribe and I'll keep translating the lab breakthroughs into what they mean for your scalp, without the hype, and maybe with a little hope.